Hello fellow engineers and welcome to World War II Rebuilder Cities from the Ashes. Now this is a cool little game I've been recommended. It's currently in the playtest thing. You can see here it says playtest. Look, I got a little hand. I can point at things. Yeah, so basically you can see as it says down here, this is the demo version of the game. And there's no saving. So it's only, it's only a little short little taster. So we can give the devs some feedback. By the time you're watching this, this probably has been removed. So sorry about that. But uh, the full game will be out soon. Anyway, let's get into it. The idea is we are rebuilding Europe after World War II. And of course, being an Englishman, I'm going to start with rebuilding the United Kingdom. Oh wow, and we literally have loads of places I've never heard of. Bibri, Gimbert, London Necropolis. What are these places? So yeah, this little bit of text here basically says we were too young to join the war, but we've decided to be an engineer after the war and rebuild our country. So here we are. What is what is that? We got a lump of coal. I think we had a lump of coal in our hand. All right, so basically we go around the levels. We want to collect materials so that we can rebuild. So we start off, as it says here, collect. We'll collect this wood from the crate. Collect this rubble, more wood, and some metal scraps. And then we've got these containers where we can store some of the stuff. So... We'll just fill all these up with the resources we got. Oh, and we might, we may as well grab all these. All right, so you can see we've got enough space. Our inventory's full. You can see wood, 19 out of 20, and a wooden crate has five wood. So we got to shove some back in. But obviously, when we want to go build, we'll have to take all of these things out. And yes, now the door is opened. We are, we are free to go outside. Our first quest is install the new gutter. So I feel like this area sort of avoided quite a lot of. I thought I'd be doing like a bit more rubble removal not just replacing a broken gutter i don't think a bomb hit that but anyway look it says we need our cutter so let's go to the cutting torch and then we can cut that off so there's the gutter we can collect that that's 15 metal noise and then if we go to metal scraps themselves you can see look we got like a bin lid we can put that up there and it turns into a gutter engineering at its finest oh, look at the light coming off that puddle it's blinding Anyway, next task, clean up old well and build a new one. Okay, I can do that. So we'll pick up all this wood, all this stone. And you can see there we need a sledgehammer because that's how you build a well back in the day. And just like that, we've built the well bit. It doesn't seem to go very deep. I don't think we're going to get much water out of there. But that's someone else's problem. I'm just following the blueprints. So we'll plonk some wood there. Oh no, we need more wood. So we've got to run back and collect wood from there. Now do that. Do that bit. Oh, put these on. Oh, this is going to be really satisfying, I can tell. Hopefully we've got enough to finish this. So, plonk, plonk. Put one roof covering, not enough resources. I feel like that's something we actually have to build. Oh, hey, look, here we go, here we go. Biocraft a new roof for the well. Okay. So, this is our crafting table, which is called a shop. Aha, and would you look at that? You can buy a roof covering. So, we can either buy it or we can craft it. Do we have enough materials? We need... We need 10 bricks. We got no bricks. We need five wood. We've got 10. We need five rubble. We got eight. And five of those things, which I think is scrap metal, right? All right, sadly, no bricks lying about. So we're going to have to spend our points, which are up in the top right. We've got 150. This is going to cost 125. Expensive, but we've bought it. We have a roof. So put it up there and look at that we've made the front page of the congratulations newspaper we got five stars so at the end of this if you haven't got five stars if you're a bit of an architect you can choose continue try and get up to that engineer level but of course we five star first time we're gonna go finish all right and now we are in gimbert and uh, it looks like it's a train station there's a train down here okay so it says here the train station is in ruins despite the war not reaching these areas check what happened here and clear the tracks okay so that's why we haven't seen like rubble and complete ruins yet the german bombers didn't make it this far so we're just doing like random fixing we're not in the meat of the clearing up section yet all right okay we are at the train station so oh god it's a right mess it does look like it got bombed. Are we sure it didn't get bombed? Or did someone just let the architecture in? Actually, looking at that roof. <laughs> oh, it looks like my roof. It looks better than my roof, actually. Half of it's still there. Mine's completely gone. But this pile of rubble, you can see it's too big. There's a hammer symbol. And basically, that means I've got to go to my hammer, which is called the destroyer. Love it. And we've got to break it up a bit so we can collect it. Uh, next, I might talk to this dude. I'm not... I'm trying not to threaten you with a hammer, but... um. All right, so that's Oscar. He's just told me... <laughs> this toilet roll. I don't know what you've been doing in there, mate. 
Yeah, there's a lot of toilet paper and like hand cream and stuff. Ew. Anyway, Oscar's told us we gotta go fix some stuff, surprisingly. He's just giving us a quest. That's all good. I'm gonna fill these up, I think. I'm literally just gonna I'm gonna collect everything up that I can. So look, we got loads of gutter down here. We got a hundred bricks. A hundred? How am I carrying a hundred bricks? Hey, look how big the box is. That's on my back right now. Do you have a shadow of me? My shadow's just a hammer. I'm impressed with myself. All right, so we'll grab everything we can. Yeah, even the chairs get reused here. All right, smash up all this rubble. Come it, come it. All right, now we collect everything. There's so much. I am quite impressed how much I can carry, to be fair. All right, anyway, I've cleaned things up a bit. I'm going to grab some bricks because over here, I've got to build a new brick wall in front of this one, apparently. So if we go into our mouse wheel, we can go to the spatula. Uh, after we've finished other actions first. So we got to knock down this wall, I think, and then rebuild it. That makes more sense. So to the destroyer, boosh. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, yes, I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, God, freak me. <laughs> and that is why you wear a hard hat, people. So we'll smash this up a bit. I've smashed this into such small pieces, it literally doesn't exist anymore. Okay, well, that's the line we can build the brick wall on. However, in here, look. We found an unexploded bomb. This is dangerous. So we got two options here. We can call the sappers, which are like the bomb disposal unit. Uh, we'll have to pay them money, but they'll come dispose the bomb. Alternatively, we can try and defuse it ourselves. Uh, that involves like opening it up, looking at the wires, trying to do things. It's like a little mini game type thing. Right, so I've just removed the rubble so it's easier to access. I think we're gonna go with out of those two options. Option number three, which is hit it with a hammer. So yeah, we're not going to call for help. I don't even think we have a hundred, whatever it is. Uh, so we're going to defuse ourselves and possibly get a reward. So we are looking at the bomb now. Oh dear. So I think each one of these, we flip the switch on and then the light goes red. I think we then need to twist this until the light goes green. Did you see that? It's green. So now we do the next one. It's gone red again, but we know it's just this one that's gone red. So now it's all green. So now we do this one. Make this green down there, sorted. So they're all good. And now I think we can cut the wires because the things are green. Bomb defused. Look at that. 30 seconds to spare. All right, so nothing else in this room. So we're going to we're gonna rebuild a wall. I think, yes, we need to lay the bricks. Oh, really? One by... Oh, God. Okay, this could take a while. Oh, are you actually joking, game? <laughs> I thought you'd be able to do, like, a whole line or something. Oh, man. Oh, dear. Oh, it's okay. You can just hold down click and do this. Speed bricking. Oh, yeah, that's that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We can do that. Not enough bricks. Grab some more bricks. Oh, man. Imagine if you could actually lay bricks this fast. There's probably, like, a world record for bricklayer that can do this. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned I've missed, like, a massive... Well, two massive gaps. Am I doing the strongest shape in here? Oh, we're out of bricks. We're out of bricks. All right, we've got to go find some bricks. Uh, so I think first we'll just we'll, we'll start destroying things again. So collect all this. So we found this dirty puddle. I think we can use a brush. Yes, a cleaner. And uh, we can scrub this up. Oh, look. Oh, you have to do it manually. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, that's clean. That's clean. Oh, man, this game is... Pretty brutally satisfying. It's one of those make people do menial tasks that they'll never do in their real life in a video game and then they'll do it. And look, we got a poster. Don't be sad, Teddy. The evacuation is part of the war effort. It's a collectible. We've got it. Nice. Right. Let's continue collecting. All right. So I just picked up loads of wood. I can't actually pick up any more. I noticed this staircase is a little bit ruined. So we can remove that. And look, now we can rebuild. So if we select wood in our tool menu, we can just do that. We can rebuild the banister, final bit of the stairs, and this railing up here. Sorted. We fixed the tower stairs. I think that was the, the quest for the old weird dude over there. What the hell? What is that? You right there, mate. What's he looking at? Okay, that's, that's a little bit scary. Oh, we can use this. What is this? Is that a phone? I think it's a phone. Oh, what the hell? The dude's gone... Alright, I think that was like a memory, a flashback. Uh, sounds like there was something dodgy with the train going on. So we'll investigate that in a bit. 
But for now, let's just keep breaking stuff. All right, this gut is a bit dodgy. I think I can cut it down. I cut that bit. Yep, there we go. There we go. And it looks like i got to cut it in half just to get it. There we go. Sorted. And cut that off. Nice. And now we can rebuild. So we go to metal scraps. We say build you, build you, build you. And oh, we don't have enough metal. But we do because we can take metal from the metal container. And there we go. We've built the gutter. <laughs> there's no there's no roof, but the gutter's there. All right, meanwhile over here, this is leaking. So F to use. Oh, I can just push that back in. Nice. Oh, we got some sparks up there. How do I... Not sure how to fix that. Is there something in here? The wires go into this back corner. Oh, then they go down. Aha, and there's a hatch. We can go down the hatch. Is there full damage? The thing with playing new games, you never know if there's full damage. Nope, we're good. Oh, look at all these bricks. We got all the bricks now. Okay, so let's collect 100 bricks. And then I assume we can bash our way out of here. Yes, so we'll continue laying our brick wall. Although it does get pretty high. Oh god, I'm not sure how much higher I can lay bricks. I'm quite impressed I can do it this high, if I'm honest. Yeah, we are getting there. We are getting there. What I like about this as well is if you take one from the bottom, everything else collapses. Well, sort of. Oh god, I'm like jumping to do this. Is this the intended way? <laughs> right, all the bricks are laid, so now I think we can point it with the spatula, can we? Oh, we're rendering. We're rendering it. Interesting, okay. Finished! I've rendered the building! That's my first ever rendering job. I'm quite proud of that. Right, here we go. Now we can put some windows in if we go to the wood tool. Because they're made out of wood. Nice, we fixed the walls of the station. Right, and I was just wondering how the hell do I get up there? But I was just looking in the shop. And you can see there's all sorts of different things. There's street decorations, vegetation, fences. Well, there aren't any fences. Yeah, but in this one, tools, you can build like ladders and scaffolding. And even more resource containers. So that's quite interesting. I assume I use scaffolding to get up up to there but i think for now we'll probably just see what's over this side so this is the train track we'll try and clear this up a bit it's a bit a bit of a mess and it looks like we got to cut this into smaller pieces so we'll go to the cutting torch is that where we're meant to cut yeah i think we're cutting up there oh there you go you got to wait for the percentage to go up got it so that's come off now nice and that one's done too. And then we can collect all that scrap metal. But we don't have enough space at the moment. So we'll just use it to go up this side. And oh god, look. We've got loads of things to destroy here. Let's just clear this up first. Again, proper shipwreck graveyard flashbacks with all the uh, hammering and booshing. Yeah, I love it because I, di I did enjoy that game. All right, so we'll empty your inventory and go back. So we can pick up an entire lamppost. It's 10 metal scraps. All right, and then we can build some stuff here. So can we build that? Yeah, I think I'm deciding what to build so we want to use our metal scraps to build this so we're doing that and then we can just pick up the scrapped ones rather than going back to our thing every time we can just do it this way which is far more sensible and then up there requires bricks so we'll go collect some bricks i got a brick in my hand i assume yes i can put it all at once thank god i thought i was gonna to have to do that manually like each individual brick oh, but cool right nearly there so we'll collect these metal scraps and then we can plonk them up there and that's the gate done. Don't think I've done the best job there. The fact that it goes through the bricks underneath. But uh, hey ho. There's a dirty old poster there. So let's clean that up. Letter to London. They miss you too. Because uh, of course in the UK at least. Uh, all the children from like cities and stuff. Were evacuated to the countryside. Quite interesting learning about that school. Like all the little kids that like had never seen a cow before. And were terrified. Oi Oscar. Are you happy with me? You're going to need lots of bricks for rebuild. I've rebuilt it you knob. I'm just clearing up the train lines because there's quite a bit of rubble and stuff underneath these. So collect that, collect the rubble. And there you go, we've cleared the tracks. Although we haven't really have. <laughs> all right, it's just because I can't help myself. I'm clearing up all of this scrap metal. I can only carry two of these at a time. So it's taking forever. Yeah, but look at, look at my score up the top. Nice. <laughs> all right, so that's the metal done. I think think we're gonna need to get the old scaffolding out to try and get up there so we're gonna build scaffolding what do we need for that uh, we can just do 15 scrap all right we'll go grab some scrap metal and we will craft that crafted nice all right so if we go up our new scaffolding we can get to the roof easily now sort of by jumping all right so we've got to put these floor joists back in the timber beams uh, not with a hammer mat, you idiot. With wood. There you go. 
One, two, three, four. Oh, and the end ones. And then we're doing these columns. So one there, one there. Grab some more wood very safely. So they're all in. We've got to do those beams. And then those beams. And then we're just doing the joists. We need more wood. Man, I wish building a real roof in real life was this easy. <laughs> or at least this quick. I've had no roof for like over a month. It's been horrible. <laughs> anyway, stop whining, Matt. Stop whining. Although, speaking of which, my roofers are here. So I'm going to pause the recording, Mr. Editor, and I'll be back in a bit. The next day. All right, so next up, we're doing that top beam. So we'll climb up here, plonk that in, plonk that in. And then we've just got to do the felt batter and the tiles. Although I think this is so old that there isn't felt and batter. If we go if we go on the inside, pop over here. Yes. So back in the day, all they had to waterproof roofs were tiles. But these days, they put felt underneath. So basically, when you look up at a roof now, you would see a layer of felt. Well, these days, it's not even felt. It's just like a membrane, like a breathable membrane. And then they tie that down with these wooden battens so that's just these little thin bits of wood and then you hammer the tiles into those uh, yes i know all about roofs now since my roofing in incident <laughs> uh, but yeah to build that in this game we need to come over here and we need to build a roof covering so what do we need for that we need a bit of everything and the same for the roof closing so i'm gonna go grab a bit of every material and then when we come back here now we should be able to build one of those. Do we need one or do we need two? I think we probably need two. Let's build another one. And do I have enough to build the roof closing craft? Yes, I do. Okay, let's see if we can build this then. So we'll go back up the scaffold. And we just say install roof covering. Yes, install roof covering. Yes. And then install roof closing. Nice, we fixed the roof. Oh, if only it was that easy in real life. <laughs> now also, pretty good view of the town. Oh god, it looks like we got we got a bit of work to do over there, lads. I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm on my own. Uh, but I'll just drop down here because look, there's some wood. Oh no, there's wood, but I can't collect it. Okay, we'll have to come back for that. That may be why we're only four stars and not five stars. So we'll collect that, collect that. Oh look, here we go, here we go. We've got some broken guttering. So let's get our cutter out, chop that off, and then reinstall. We don't have enough scrap, damn it. So we'll just jump to install the guttering like you would in real life. We've done. We've fixed the gutters. Uh, if we press U, you can see we've actually got all different things. So total progress, 72%. Our main objective, we've just got to call headquarters. I assume that's probably the last thing we do. So I probably want to do the other things first. So the extra objectives, clean the area. Oh, and decorate the area. Okay, I think as well, there was like a there was like a button where you can like scan and you can see what you need to clean. Because apart from a bit of weeding, it all looks not too bad to me. I'm just going to press some buttons. Oh, there you go. There you go. I've done it. Oh, these are... That's rubble. That apparently is rubble. I thought it was just like old newspapers. All right. Imagine there's some of these on this side. Yep. Look. Collect the rubble, Matt. So we're on 99%. There's just one thing hiding from me. Oh, and is it you? No, still on 99%. Damn it. I feel like I'm going to spend the rest of my day trying to find this now, aren't I? There's literally nothing. Come on, game. Can anyone see anything? <laughs> Or do I need to pick my scaffolding up? That can't be the problem. Can I'm going to pick my scaffolding up. No, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. All right, sod it. I'm going to call HQ. Ah, look, four stars. It's no good. It's no good. Continue. I need to clean the area. Oh, there it is. There it is. You rubbly bastard. There you go. Clean area, 100%. Now we just got to decorate. So if we just take all resources. I don't know what we want to decorate with. But uh, we probably want to flag... We probably want a phone booth because we are in the United Kingdom after all. All right, decorate the area went up to 0%. Oh, great. All right, phone booth. Decorate the area. We're still on 0%. Maybe we need to make this place a bit more British. All right, apparently I'm out of materials. I can't build any more flags or phone booths. I uh, don't know how I ran out of them so quickly. But I just thought rather than getting on the train, people could just phone where they wanted to go and speak to them they don't need to meet in person we've got the technology now guys oh and this is quite cool so i've just found out in the tools section these resource containers they cost zero to make and you'll notice as i click buy the number at the bottom it's going up oh yes so i think we'll buy a load of those yep i think our good friend the auto clicker will help us here so if we just press f6 
Look at that number flying at the bottom. I wonder if there's a limit. Well, we've just hit 10,000 and it's still going. So I am going to stop there because I don't have all day. But I am going to use some of these to improve the place. There we go. I think that's much better. We built them a nice colourful bridge. And before you accuse this of being a product of architecture, it does actually have a purpose. Because from up here you can see you can easily get onto this roof, which is very important for roof repairs, as we found out earlier. I wonder if there's any other secrets in this shop. What do you guys want? Uh, anyway, I'm going to go back to work. Oh god, there's another one. They're after me! I'm dead! Peace, love, and statues that kill you! 